Hey guys, so I have finally finished my cabin and I've been promising a bunch of people that I would do a walkthrough video once I'm finished. And um, I'm basically finished. I'm still, um, I'm still haven't completely finished my final inspection. I had a few things that didn't pass and uh, I have since then corrected all of them. I just haven't had it reinspected yet. That'll happen probably uh, next week, I believe. But anyway, it's a 20 by 20 cabin with a loft. Um, I'm sitting on about 12 acres and I joined National Forest on two sides. So anyway, here's my cabin. Um, hope you enjoy. So this is the front and uh, it's got a, an eight by 20 porch on the front, aluminum handrails, stone facing um, the, the outside is Final, but um, it's it's not your traditional vinyl. It's the board and batten style. We'll go inside. I've got a wood stove chimney. It goes up through the roof. You can see there's a loft with a circular staircase. Got my lens on wide view since it's so small. But did a couple of built in bookshelves. That one has a desk. Walk into the kitchen. Has a um, full size double door refrigerator, stackable washer and dryer. I did the farmhouse sink. Propane stove, butcher block, countertops, dishwasher, um, even did an appliance garage. Um, has a garbage disposal even though we have a septic tank. I ended up putting in one that discharges uh, some sort of bio fluid to assist. I did the um, extra filtration system for the drinking water. Plenty of lighting. A little coat closet over here. This is the bathroom. I, since it's so small, I went ahead and did frosted glass in the door. It does have a bidet, automatic toilet seat and everything. See the uh, shower. I did the custom tile shower with the rain style head up in the ceiling. Remote control for the bidet. The granite countertop in the bathroom, extra. mirror for the light and uh, all the little coat, the towel racks and stuff. I did the wood differently in, in the bathroom. It's got a dark, very dark stain on it instead of a clear coat. I also did the heat lamp in the ceiling so that you get out of the shower, you can warm up. It, there's not any heat in the bathroom. I have two um, mini split units in, in the house. So if you want, uh, I just leave the, the door open in the bathroom. Also have this little thing. It has uh, a night light, different color night lights, the regular light, the fan, and also Bluetooth. 
you can play music while taking a shower. Also did a built-in gun rack just inside the door. And um, oh, I did propane light as well, just in case there's an emergency. I can always light up the place with propane. Wood stove. My mantle is actually from a tree that fell on the property. I took it down and had it milled for a mantle. It's white oak. We'll go upstairs. So from up here, you can see what it looks like looking over the banister. So this is upstairs. I have another mini split. This ceiling height on the back side is seven feet here, but it goes all the way up to, gosh, it's probably nine or 10 feet up in the, the middle. And uh, got a little sitting area over here. This is just extra storage space. You can see my spray foam insulation. Total, I would say it's probably about 700 square feet finished, not, in, not including the unfinished basement. We'll walk outside. Here's the outside. This is the front entryway. I've got floodlights on three corners of the cabin. Front, I did um, I did decking boards to instead of lattice under the deck and stone on all of the posts. I'll stand back, you can see the whole cabin. There you go. So it's very small, it's only 20 by 20. I did micro clover instead of grass. It's just, just getting going. This is down at the basement level. It's on the side of a mountain. A 10 by 20 concrete patio here off of the basement. I still have a lot of work to do as far as landscaping goes. It has an alternative septic system. I did a whole house Briggs and Stratton generator, automatic transfer switch, did a outside floodlight. I have satellite TV and I have hot and cold outside running water. So this is where I'll be cleaning my deer during hunting season. I'm going in the basement. In the basement, I've got a dehumidifier and um, the condensation from that runs into a drip line for the, for the septic along with the drip line for the condensation from the tankless water heater. All right, so I've got the UV water purification system, power supply, 
water softener. The water softener drains into that as well. Whole house water filter, well pump. Extra refrigerator down here, panel box. Drain in the floor, so it's um, it's 20 by 20. It's, um, the whole house is spray foam insulation except for these floors. I did have the edges flashed with the spray as well to help keep uh, insects and rodents and stuff out, but I didn't want to spray foam the floors because I may need access to the plumbing and things like that. Uh, go out back. My exhaust for my water heater. Got a 10 by 20 deck on the back. Propane tank. My backyard. I just reseeded it again today with clover. I want to be able to come out here and not have to work every time I come out. But that's it. All that's National Forest. My corner property is there. All of that's National Forest. And my property is a big rectangle this way. I still have to do gravel for the driveway. And my driveway goes down the hill. Clear security cameras. My well. And um, can't see it from here, but inside the woods down there, I've cleared out a little spot and put in a little pond. Hope you enjoyed.